Nigeria's outing at the world's premier uh, mineral exploration and mining convention, that is the Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada Convention, PDAC, PDAC, this year was quite impressive. I have been covering this event for over seven years in Toronto and from a constructive point of view, Nigeria walked the talk at this year's convention, considering the quality of meetings and outcomes. Now, Nigeria is looking at the metallics, especially gold. Meanwhile, reports from experts about gold price forecast for 2019 indicate that it will go up as gold is setting a range which will be an important reference point for 2019. So, let's hear some of the sound bites from the Nigerian delegation and the Nigerian High Commission in Canada at PIDAC 2019 in Toronto. The government of Nigeria today made a huge commitment and prioritized itself by saying Nigeria beyond oil. The Minister of State for Minerals and Steel Development has also worked very hard to prioritize that objective. They came to meet specific targeted individuals, corporations at PIDAC and it has worked exceedingly well. So at this meeting we've met with the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, they're arguably one of the best minting companies in the world. Uh, they perhaps make coins for over uh, half of the world uh, countries. We've also met Barry Gold, arguably the largest gold uh, mining company in the world. We've also met the Canadian uh, Institute of Mining. They set the standards that others follow. Uh, we've also met with Bullion Mart, our partners, who, yes, are the largest distributor of gold coins, bullions in the world, and perhaps trade actively on five continents. Meeting each and every one of them has meant that Nigeria, for the first time, uh, became the doyen and the bride of the PIDAC at this event. Uh, falling from those important institutions that we've met, everyone, whether investor, everyone, whether uh, a, a producer, supplier, has now taken note of the potential called Nigeria and are willing to do business. This is a PIDAC with, um, with a difference. As you can see, we, we have a focus, we have a direction and things are moving in the right direction. Solid minerals is an area which we have identified as a place for meaningful collaboration between our two countries. As I've said before, mining is point, less than 0.1% of GDP. Canada has the expertise, the skill, the competence, and the tradition of, of a solid mining business. Nigeria has the resources. So this is the time for us to get together and collaborate for mutual benefit. We now have some kind of clusters, and these clusters are like the China Mining Roadshow, China Mining Nigeria Roadshow, the Swiss Roadshow. We're able to do that in Australia. And these are things that we've not been doing before. And we now see that we are getting more investors into the sector. Canada is the go-to country for mining assistance in the world. Uh, number one for best practices, number one for mining invest in, uh, investments, junior exploration companies, the most listings in minings on any stock exchange. This is what Canada is all about. And so in that respect, my job is to bridge Nigeria's uh, delegation's activities with Canadian interests um, and Canadian uh, areas where we can assist. So the long-term goal here is for Nigeria to build a much better, more sustainable, community-minded uh, mining uh, regulatory environment where you'll see great investments coming in in a fair and transparent way but huge payoffs to Nigerian people, to the communities where the mines are located and to the general coffers or the treasury of Nigeria such you can see your GDP growing by leaps and bounds due to mining and a way to diversify your economy.